some moderately positive news for Manitoba. Uh, we are looking at uh, levels coming through the Red River at approximately 2011 or slightly less than 2011 levels, which is really good news and there's a whole bunch of factors for that. Um, first of all, there was a weather bomb that was going through the United States. That's all going more into South Dakota, which is not our watershed. So, you know, unfortunate for the Mississippi Basin, very fortunate for us in the Red River Basin. Uh, we've also seen the weather really cooperate in that we see it getting cold at night. The river does not freeze, means uh, groundwater freezes so that the water runs through the Red River and it gets out of the way before the next day's melt. And it has been really a positive thing for us and that weather is going to continue for the rest of the week. Now for those who want to go outside and start doing uh, yard work, not so good news. But for us as Manitobans that are concerned about some kind of flooding, uh, this has been very good news. Highway 75, sorry, does it look like that will be closed before a short period of time at this point? Uh, we are looking at potentially closing the, for, sur for sure the one side, the north side of Morris. But what we would be doing there is probably adding two feet at first which means traffic can get over. It's a little bit slower and it helps to pack it down as well. And then we would monitor how the, uh, the crest comes. So we're looking at a crest hitting in, um, in Emerson sometime uh, next week. And, and then we can gauge it. Uh, we, we know it's going to crest in a couple of days, two, three days in Grand Forks, which would give us a better indicator. But remember that at the border in Emerson, that's when the Red River really does spread out. So then we spread that crest out a lot.